Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 VC review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Wrecking Crew on the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. It's uh, kind of like an action puzzle game basically. The whole point is to destroy all of the bricks on the stage. So starting off you've got your one player, your two player, your design mode and pretty cool you can actually choose which level you want to start on which uh, if you look on the Wrecking Crew symbol that's your phases and as you can see there's a hundred different phases so there's a lot to do on this game. Starting off, um, you'll notice it says Mario Start. It is a Mario spin-off type game, so that's why it's Mario. It's not as if the, the, they made another NES game and didn't realise. It is actually the Mario. So the whole point is, you've got to go along here, you've got blocks you destroy, and it's a bit like a puzzle game. First here, you've got like different sections where you can go, and you can't really get stuck, but in later levels, you'll have to really take a look at the board whilst quickly trying to avoid the enemies and you'll have to get your way through the puzzle without actually trapping yourself so that you can't do it so it does add a lot of thinking to the game which is pretty cool um, uh, other than that there's not really much to say about the, the one player mode so I'll quickly uh, quickly show you the design mode so here we go on the, uh, in the menu of the design mode you can save your designs, you can load your designs and you can design quite a few phases too which is pretty cool uh, you can design up to four phases, which for a NES game that's uh, quite a bit, and you can design, design them for one player mode or two player mode. And then you can, like, obviously it's the same map, but you can play them in one player or two player. So starting off here, here's one of my basic designs just to show you, but I will go on the actual design to let you have a look at what you can do. But this is the type of thing really. So very quickly cut out on, uh, on showing you the different types of block you can use. You can put all the different types of enemy on as well, which is pretty cool. So here we are, cycling through the blocks. You can place whatever you want to, wherever you want to. You've got all the different things, all the different enemies. So you can even put on, uh, you might saw there, the anti-Mario type thing. I don't know if that's supposed to be Wario or something, but he goes along and he tries as hard as he can to ruin your deer. He will destroy the things that you don't want to destroy, so if you've got any breakable ladders that you desperately need, he will do that while you're on them, which is very kind of him. He will get in the way of you. It's just very off-putting to have him there. The levels with him on are quite hard. Um, every so often you will also get a bonus stage where the whole point is you and that evil Mario run along and the first one to destroy the right brick wins but you don't know what the right brick is, it just comes up. Two player mode, you actually have Luigi as well which is pretty cool but it, is a, it isn't a it is a co-op, it's a takey turnies thing so you, you aren't on at the same time as I say obviously if I die here then it'll cut Luigi. So there we go, Luigi start. So there we go then, that's been the review, I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212. Signing off.